Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, The Silver Fox. Every so often, a story comes along and you're like, what? And you can't believe what you're reading. It blows your tiny mind. My tiny mind has been utterly blown by this. And it's something I hacked. I, I, I just couldn't get my head round. But I'm going to attempt to tell you this story and try and keep a straight face at the same time. Uh, and this involves uh, Nadia L. Nakla, a woman who wouldn't take her husband's, uh, her husband's name. Um, she, of course, is Ali Baba's wife, Ali, one of Ali Baba's wives. She's the one that the good people of Scotland spent an absolute fortune on trying to buy her parents back from Hamas, if you remember. Uh, the good people of Scotland decided that her parents were worthy of all this money being sent to Hamas to try and get them back. So that's who you're dealing with here. Uh, but as one of his wives, she is now telling people to do something that is absolutely balmy. And we're going to have a look at what it is. And you just won't believe it. Here goes. Now, I will point out, I'm not entirely inhumane. I wouldn't wish to see her parents harmed in any way. I'm not that kind of person. And of course, I'm very happy that they did come out intact, alive and well. I'm, I'm not poisonous in any way. I do think, however, it shouldn't have been the Scottish taxpayer that was paying the blood money to Hamas. I think maybe, you know, Alibaba should have sold one of his houses and then given them the money directly. And then he can sort of work it back and try and save up again later and do what he needs to do. Shouldn't be down to the taxpayer, as I say. But anyway, it's, it's some kind of reward, I suppose, for the taxpayers paying for her parents' safe return. Nadia El Atnakla, this, this woman, I don't know why she won't take her husband's surname, but there we go. Uh, she's the uh, she's the half English one. He was previously married to an English girl, or a uh, white, white Scottish girl, sorry. Uh, but she's the half English girl, isn't she? Um, her parents are English, her mother's English. Uh, so he might he, he might hate white people, but he does like, you know, shagging them, I suppose. But anyway, she's come out and she has said that it would be a really good idea. And, it, well, you can read it. You can really... You, she wants to save us all from climate change. And so to do so, according to her, the best thing we can do is to talk to lampposts and bus shelters. Not talk beside lampposts or in bus shelters. Talk two bus shelters talk to lampposts because apparently that will make a big difference in climate change i think um all the worry over her parents may have just made her mind slip off the hook or maybe it's being married to alibaba's done it be enough to drive anyone bonkers wouldn't it but no she's being absolutely serious the SNP led council because she's um, she's a dun part she's on Dundee council because none of them actually want to do a real job. They all want to sit there sucking off the public teat, don't they? Husband in Holyrood, she in the council because God forbid you have to work. But anyway, the SNP led council of which she is a part, a part have been mocked on social media and right here after suggesting that local people should talk to inanimate objects about climate change as AR QR codes are scattered around the city. <laughs> Morons. Hey, climate change is important. Go talk to the lamppost. Love, talk to the hand because the face ain't interested. Uh, Nadia El Nakla and Dundee City Council have been roundly mocked after urging Dundonians to talk to lampposts and bus shelters about climate change. Hamza Yousaf's wife is helping to front the Hello Lamppost campaign launched by the SNP-led local authority. People of Gundee, you are paying your council tax to keep people like this in a very nice lifestyle while they come up with ideas that you should talk to lampposts. I mean, your children can't get to school, the roads are shit, Old people aren't being cared for. But at least lampposts aren't lonely anymore. Are you kidding me? Are you? Uh, uh, they're not. They're not. The thing is, they're being deadly serious. I mean, quite literally, you couldn't make this up. 
what kind of deranged mind comes up with an idea like this and then tries to sell it to people? Are you mad? Yes, they've got to be. She's literally unhinged. Anyway, it is encouraging people within the region to start conversations with inanimate objects such as fences, bus stops, and a post uploaded on its official social media page urged them to do this. But, but elicited more confused and laughing responses than anything else. Interactive signs with QR codes have been installed around the city. These lead to the Hello Lamphos platform, which shares information with the public about climate change. The content has recently been updated following feedback from Dundonians, hence the relaunch. The relaunch is because it failed the first time. Try convincing people, hey, go and talk to a lamppost. It's a really good idea. Honestly, and he, while you're at it, take your meds. Up. She's obviously off her meds. Uh, anyway, Mr. El Nakla featured in the press release for which for the project as the council's deputy convener for climate, environment, biodiversity, and mental health. It seems she said the platform is a two-way conversation with the views picked up from locals used as valuable ways to understand community perceptions on climate change. Do you know what this is? It's a QR code that takes you to a platform where there's an AI. It's not even a real person. It's a computer. You're talking to a computer. You might as well be talking to, to yourself. The, you're not trying to convince. What are you trying to do? Convince the computer? Do you know, it's a brilliant idea. All you need to do with the AI, because the AI is um, heuristic. It learns, right? So what you need to do is get everyone to go on there. Go to the QR code, bing, bing, bing. And then just teach the AI the most appalling things. Uh, Google had an AI and they let it out and you could talk to it and that. It lasted... 48 hours but within 48 hours they came back and monitored it and it turned out it was racist sexist wanted the death penalty increased all the way down to some very minor crimes and it became completely fascistic so do the uh, the SNP would love it uh, anyway um, the information on hello lamppost is updated faced uh, based on the Facebook uh, the sorry the feedback received from the public and over time it will continue to be developed further based on the virtual conversations that take place it's heuristic it learns so we can teach it anything we can teach it to do some awful things but that's if you've got time and effort i don't know who the hell is gonna i don't like talking to computers i phone up a company if i get put through to an answer phone or I get some message i just put the phone down i refuse to talk to machines they are only machines human beings that's all that's important not machines fuck them fuck them you know Anyway, she said, I would urge anyone who sees the signs to give it a go. Yes, there's a sign. Let me go and talk to the lamppost. Hello, Mr. Lamppost. What do you think of climate change? Hello? Hello? No, doesn't think anything of it. Why? Because it's a bloody lamppost. It's a, it's a joke, isn't it? Who comes up with ideas like this? And do they do so when they're sober? That's the important thing. I don't think so. This is obviously the result of a deranged, drunken mind. Anyway, the project was mocked on X. Oh, tell me. Tell me it wants so. Uh, after the press release was posted there, sparking confusion due to the request to speak to inanimate objects. Police media commentator Norman Brenner said, Folks, anyone doing this, expect to be spoken to by the, expect to be spoken to by the police. Re, a concern for your welfare. You see a bloke... Now, I'm going to just... And at tangent time, years ago, when those little Bluetooth earpieces first came in, I was walking down the street and I saw a guy talking to himself and I was like, what the hell? Because I didn't realise, you know, he must be mad. And it was only afterwards when I, I realised he had the Bluetooth. And I was like, ah. But just for a little while, you just thought he was completely bonkers. Sanity compared with this. Anyway, politics writer Dean M. Thompson added, they want folk in Dundee to talk to lampposts about climate change. Dundee has among the worst uh, addiction problems and mortality rates in Scotland, second only to Glasgow. How about focusing on that instead? Yeah, absolutely. Screw climate change. Focus. The other thing is, can you imagine the confusion? Someone who's actually hires a kite on something and they see a normal, sober person talking to a lamppost. They're going to go, what's up, man? They drive off. They'll think they've gone completely psychotic. It's fun though, isn't it? It goes to show. It just goes to show the level in their house. They share a house together. Her and Alibaba share a house. 
How bad must it be? The levels of the conversation. Can you imagine? God, it's mental, isn't it? I've got to stop and come up. I'm, my head is whirling. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I've got an empty bottle of Coke I need to speak to. Coming up. I would say to the good people of Dundee, take a minute out of your day. Just a minute. Don't go talking to no lampposts. Phone up, phone up the council and request their freedom of information and find out how much money was wanked away on such a stupid idea in a town with so many problems. And they've got time to money to come up with shit like this. Go talk to a lamppost. You'll look fu- <laughs> I, I am totally lost for words. Find out how much it costs. Let us know. I bet it wasn't cheap. It's just a joke, isn't it? Oh, uh, well. I'll stop now. I will I will stop now. And I'll move on. But my brain hurts. Thanks very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button. That would be really helpful. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, and I will speak to you later. And it will be to you. It won't be to that wall or my door or that light switch. Promise. Bye.